Hello everyone, welcome into this new week, uh, the second week of our study. Hope you're having a good time so far. Uh, today, as we continue in the book of James, we're going to look at uh, jealousy and, and what he calls selfish ambition. Now, I have to be honest, uh, when I was young, I was always trying to work towards the next thing. I, I had passionate self-ambition that I wanted to achieve all these things, and uh, oftentimes, the persons that had it, uh, I would be jealous. Now I would justify it and, and I wouldn't say I was jealous, but really that's what I was in my heart. I wanted what they had and I tried to work for it and I tried to push and get there and do whatever it took uh, to get ahead. Uh, but it never uh, gave me joy in life and uh, it never resulted in good things. Uh, it, it was almost always negative in my life. and. Uh, when I, when I moved into the villages to start work in, in, uh, uh, with New Covenant, I actually thought, well, you know, retired people don't struggle with this anymore. Uh, but I was so wrong. Because you know what I found out? You guys struggle with this just like I have in my life. We all look around and we see somebody else that has this or uh, somebody that goes on that trip or uh, has the, the perfect child or the, the right house or the, uh, you know, the most beautiful spouse, whatever it is. And we think, oh, if I could just have that, or if I could go there, uh, if I didn't have to put up with this. Uh, I know that because I have people make comments to me all the time. So I know we, we struggle with this. A lot of us, if not most of us, struggle with this at different points in our life. Now, the answer that James gives us uh, isn't that we just stop thinking about it, but that the answer he gives us is that we grow in the wisdom of God. And the wisdom of God isn't something that you study to get. It's a, it's a state of being. The wisdom of God comes when I'm putting myself uh, under the grace of God uh, and I'm living a life that's connected uh, with the, the Holy Triune God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. So the, the wisdom of God, the thing that fights jealousy and selfish ambition is my prayer, my time in the Word, uh, my time in, in worship and, and participating in the Holy Communion meal, my time in small groups with other people that I become transparent, uh, my time giving financially and giving physically through service to other people. These things put me in a place where God becomes real, uh, more real in my life every day, and in that I grow in the wisdom of God, which gives me the grace to be content with where I am and joyful in that. So it's all about being. So that's what our call is. That's what the goal of our life should be as we continue uh, to work and growing as disciples of Christ. So good luck. Have a great day. And the Lord bless you.